Well, today is the day. It is the 8th of July, and I'm going to meet the landlord and sign over the title. So that means that this weekend, we're going to be moving like crazy. Um, we've got to the end of July to get out of here, which ultimately isn't that long, considering all the stuff we've got to move. We've got to empty out the shed. I've got to take apart the... Um, the playground, empty out the pool, pack it up, um, tear down the fence, you know, just that's just outside. Amanda's going to be working inside and she's going to be taking care of everything in here and that means taking down, oh, all the pictures, the deer, the TV and the TV, um, uh, I don't know, what is it called? It, it holds the TV up. Arm. What? Arm. Yeah, I guess the arm, TV arm, <laughs> I guess. And um, while we're doing that, we're going to be organizing and getting ready for the garage that we're planning on having. It probably won't be until late July, maybe early August, because it's going to take a lot of, uh, a lot of organi organization no. and a lot of separating. <sighs> Excuse me. A lot of sorting, all that fun stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> now begins the hectic life for at least a couple of weeks. It's going to be nuts. It's, every day is going to be more moving and more moving, you know. Well, you guys, I'm sure all of you have moved before. You know what we're talking about. Quiet, little man. Jeez, he's so noisy. I suppose I should get you dressed, huh? Yeah, you're so funny. <laughs> you smell funny. You smell funny. Why do you smell funny, huh? You poop? I'm sure you guys want to know all that. Well, it's quarter to eight now. Never did get out to uh, get the house sold the uh, landlord was just impossible to work with I mean I was trying yeah and then I find out you know that the um, the uh, trailer still has a lien on it yet and I thought that we were free and clear and that's what the bank said turns out that we are not you know, free and clear to sell the mobile home. We need a letter of um, release from the bank. And uh, the only way to get that letter of release is to give them $500. And then we are able to sell the, the, camp, or the mobile home. And, uh, I thought I knew her. So, okay, now figure this one out. We want to sell the mobile home. But we need the $500 to release the title to sell the mobile home. And we can't do that until we, you know, so we can't sell the mobile home until we pay that. And so, it's just a cluster. Fuck, really. I mean, in all regards, it just. So that was a headache. And I still haven't told my landlord yet. Here I thought that we were going to get everything done and signed today and turns out that, you know, we have to get this documentation. So, no, it's not going to happen until maybe even next week or the week after that. I don't know. I don't know what's happening, honestly, anymore. I'm just so lost with this and just so frustrated. But with a all the bad luck, a little bit of good luck. I got a letter in the mail. And um, it was a law litigation, or there was a litigation about this DRAM stuff for, you know, to add more RAM to your computer back in the day, or even right now, but back in the day it was more, more prevalent where people would uh, buy RAM and, you know, and turns out that they were overcharging people, and I guess there was this lawsuit going on. For like 
between 2002 and 2008, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> but lo and behold, I get a check for $100 in the mail. All because of um, this lawsuit that I didn't even know was happening. And I was just like, oh, all right. Of course, I was um, hesitant. You know, I mean, I looked at it and it looked authentic, but I know there's, there's companies out there that, you know, that scam artists can easily make it look, and it came from the Wisconsin Department of uh, Treasury, and so that right there was, you know, told me that it's probably authentic, and then there's a number and a website, so I checked both, turns out it's legit, so it's freaking sweet. Um, I was going to use the money from the mobile home to buy Jack's, uh, Jack's birthday present, which is on the 13th, but what we're going to have to do is pay the $500 out of our pocket, and then Amanda will get 218 back from the landlord, and, uh, the, um, all because you know they would give us the 500 but they want to pay off our electrical bill before they buy the house and that way there's nothing hanging over them you know and everything and so i was like well i understand and so we didn't even get the 300 dollars back and so all that money would go right back into amanda's pocket and go back in the bills which means we wouldn't have any money for jack's birthday so this kind of was like you know I hate to say it, but kind of a godsend. And um, so, only one main problem right now is it's going to be the weekend. My bank now closes during the weekend, and the only way to cash the check is to run out to mom and sign it over to her and have her give me a check for $100 and go to her bank tomorrow, which fortunately they're still open till noon, and I'll run in and I'll cash that. So, like I always told a man where there's bad, there's good. You know, even if it looks like there is no light at the end of the tunnel, before you give it a little bit of time, don't dwell on it. Don't, you know, just don't think negatively. Be positive. Things will happen. Know, good good stuff will happen and I'm not going to say that it's about you know God or anything because I am not a religious man but I am a positive person I always have been even when the chips are all down and all and I've got nothing left there's always something good that happens right around the corner so yeah and then I gotta pick up the trailer. Um, after I leave mom's today, I gotta stop and pick up the trailer at John's place. He's on, he's off on a little trip there. Because we are moving tomorrow. We are spending all weekend packing, sorting, cleaning, and moving. We're gonna get stuff um, really going tomorrow and Sunday. We're not like moving into mom's house yet. But we are gonna move a lot of the stuff over there, you know. And then probably mid next week, next weekend, we're probably ready to just move out entirely. It'll be weird. It'll be very weird. Can you guys see me okay? It's like this. There we go. Uh, the center, the light sensors. And, working too well or something, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'm still having a hard, hard time processing it now that it's, and even now that it's happening, it's still very uh, foreign and alien, very hard to accept. Right now I'm going to my mom's and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to leave and I'm going to go home. Next week, I might just be out there. And I might not leave, and you know, it'll be odd. I haven't spent a night in that house since I was like 21. 
I mean, it has been a long time. You know, I'm 40 years old now, so 19 years. It's hard to accept, you know, it's hard to, but you know, it's part of life. Well, that's just the uh, first load. <laughs> it's only the shed and some of the stuff in the yard. Just ridiculous. Oh my God, that is like, there's gonna be so many trailer fulls. And then I drained the pool yesterday. Um, I gotta, you know what, before we leave, I should unhook that. I think that's what I'll do. But, uh, Right now, we're gonna be uh, going out to mom's and helping unload it because, um, you know, we gotta do another load. The one thing we gotta grab is uh, we gotta move out the old picnic table, which is on the other side of the house. We gotta drain the pool for sure. We gotta fold it all up, grab the pump, the ladder, all that stuff. Um, and we're also taking this thing that I made in, pre in a previous video. And we're taking this. So I think we might leave that until we're moved out almost entirely because <laughs> then the, otherwise the kids won't have nowhere to play. And they'll be bored to tears. So yeah, it's, uh, it's happening guys. I can't believe it, but it's happening. A lot of stuff in here. I can't believe this all was in this shed. I mean, that is just nuts. Look at all that crap. Who needs this much stuff? I mean, and that's not even a quarter of it. I, see, I got tons more in there. It's amazing what you can acquire over 40 years. It's ridiculous.
I don't think he likes the bird feed though. He's pecking at it, but... I think the full wheeler engine actually calms him down. Or distracts him from the other noises. Like me talking. Well, now wait a minute now. What are you doing? How you doing, bud? You know, this is going to sound totally fishy, but what if my dad came back as a grouse? Because he was born about the same time dad died. I know, it sounds totally cheesy, but I'm not one to dismiss reincarnation. And this bird has been on my heels ever since he saw me. It's kind of nice to think about it like that. My dad coming back as a wild animal, and then seeing his son. Where are you going? Get back here. Come on. Well, I guess that's that. All right, I'm gonna give you the rest of the bird feed. That's strictly for the birds. You see any deer, let me know and I'll come out and I'll shoot them. Look at that, my grass is growing. Yay! That's kind of cool. Alright, so we got the picnic table loaded and our um, planter that we made. We loaded that up as well. So we're going to clean this up here and replant grass around it and then the fun job, take down the pool. Oh shit!